Yo, what is up guys and welcome in another track day R video. I'm bringing you guys another update. Today we're gonna be testing out two tracks. One is Michigan MX and the other track is Riverside MX. So those few tracks have been updated. So as always, I will leave you guys in the description the uh, changelog. There has also been some work done on the steering stabilization, general stabilization and some new setup on the bumper bound settings on a 450 and some other settings on the front end of other bikes. So first off, we're gonna test out the uh, Michigan MX track. And this is just very first time that I open up the game with the latest update. So all my feedback is gonna be fresh and I haven't tested it yet. So you're gonna be going through with me and we're gonna have to see how these new updates have changed the way that the bike handles and stuff like that. And also they said that there's been some ground changing so the dirt should feel a little bit more like dirt and i can already tell you that it changed the layout a little bit and i don't know when this is has been changed because to be honest i'm really sorry but i haven't played this track too much since i started making tracks so there's also been some work done on the air resistance to kind of make the feel feel the feel of the bike a little bit different on the verticality and also on the lateral sides so when you're whipping and when you're going up and down we have changed it quite a bit to make it feel a little bit more free when you go up to kind kind of eliminate that uh, pass through feeling that we had before when you were hitting like steep faces and stuff like that the bike felt like it wanted to go through the jump and not uh, jump up sort of sort of way you know and I feel like we are in a good spot right now it's feeling pretty good I'm actually really happy with these new uh, changes oh oops and what that what that has done also it has changed not only in the air but it's, it has changed on the ground as well so you will feel the bike a well not you but I actually feel the bike a little bit different when you're going through bumpy sections especially under braking and it gives a little bit more of a um, uh, how to say like you can actually feel the bumps kicking you more than before whereas before you kind of felt like you had the most perfect suspension setup and you were just hauling through bumps whereas right now you, it feels actually like they're doing something to you there's also been some work done on the engine sound and revving so before we had a little bit of an issue where I don't know if you've noticed in the uh, previous videos where you were going to the rev limiter and in some gears it could not reach the uh, rev limiter with the sound and now it does so that's very good i'm actually really enjoying these new changes to this track also the uh the ground changes i think has been made to the roll resistant to give you more of a dirt kind of feeling so oh oops I can actually now feel the difference before I still remember when I played this old version of the track it was before this new terrain changes so I kind of remember how it felt and these new changes also in the these corners we have a lot more line choices and stuff like that which is very good also makes it good for uh, for racing as always beautiful track made by Jaluka I'm really actually enjoying this track it feels a little bit different on the cornering as well. I cannot really pinpoint what it is. It's probably the new uh, leaning system and general stabilization. I actually like it more now than before because it's still feeling precise, but it kind of gives you room to make mistakes. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like before it felt like a point and shoot kind of cornering. And now it actually requires you to concentrate on where you want to put the bike because it's not going to be 100% precise all the time, which is very good. And regarding the uh, engine and the 450, to be honest, I might need still a couple more laps to uh, figure it out. There we go, LaRocco's Leap, baby! So yeah, the engine of the 450, to be honest, it's feeling great. Looks like it's riding a little bit too high on the RPMs. 
which is weird. It's kind of struggling to uh, go up in RPMs as well. I don't know how to uh, explain it. Oh, that was sick. Like, as you hear, I don't know if you can hear. I'm going to try to turn the uh, volume up one second and then make you hear the bike. Kind of gets stuck on those range, like, like it gets kind of stuck on that RPM range, which is kind of weird. I'm gonna have to uh, report that to the big man because it's almost like it doesn't dig from low RPMs. It just goes like and kind of stays there, you know. So that's gonna have to be addressed for sure. But other than that, it's feeling very, very good. This track is feeling amazing. I'm actually really enjoying. I'm, I might just start playing this track a lot more now. And also look how the bike is reacting to the uh, bumps. I'm actually liking these rebound changes. It makes the bike feel more alive under you. Even though I'm playing in third person, so it doesn't really give you that full immersion like in the first person. But to be honest, with this camera angle made by Dirk, it's showing pretty much all the behavior of the bike. So I'm really happy with that. Love the new changes. So that's it for this track. We're going to change to the other track that we have to test out. To be honest, I never ridden this track. So this is going to be my very, very first time. But I kind of guessing that the work done on the terrain is the same from Michigan MX. So I should expect close to the same feeling, if not the uh, entirely same feeling. So we will see how this bike handles the uh, uphills. So far we are having the uh, same problem that I mentioned before, but that should not be an issue. I should... Oh! Oh! Oh my god, boys. <laughs> I went in way too hard. How did I save that? <laughs> well, we will continue from here and then we will close the lab and start another one. So, as I was saying, the... <laughs> As I was saying, the bike is feeling amazing, but there's just that little issue of the engine. Oh, shit. But right now the track is feeling very good. The bike is feeling very, very good as well. Yeah, I just have to figure out the uh, track layout right here. I've never ridden here. This is my very, very first time. And I need to take it a little bit slower for sure. Oh, yeah, this is what I like. As you, Did you see, guys, the bike stepping out on the braking bumps? That's what I like to see, boys. Rear end getting tail happy on the braking bumps. That's very good. It feels like you're in control, like feels like you have control of what the bike is doing with the latest work on the steering and stuff like that before it look, looked like um, when you were losing the rear end, you did not have the uh, option to stop and counter steer. Looked like the game did it for you in a sense and you either left the throttle immediately or it would just pretty much make you feel like you were losing it. So. Now it feels like you're still stepping out, but you're almost in control all the time, which is much better. And this time I have to remember to actually brake. <laughs> Otherwise I'm gonna kill myself on this top hill. But track is amazing, to be honest. Ooh, did you see that? Ooh. So yeah, I was saying track is amazing. The scale of it is pretty much on point. I love the jumps, love the uh, <coughs> the elevation and stuff like that. I have never ridden this track IRL. I wish I did. I live too far away, so I cannot really tell you how it rides in real life compared to maybe some other tracks. But I can definitely see myself playing this track a lot, especially on all night lobbies. So yeah. Oh, this is the uh, Instagram jump, and of course I steered way too much. We're gonna try and steez off of that jump in the next lap. These sections feel a little bit too tight, but yeah, I don't know how it is IRL, so I don't know if he used real life data or if he worked on the track from scratch. But so far it's looking very good. I'm also really liking the erosions. 
but yeah boys new updates i'm feeling amazing let me know down below in the comments as always what you think about it what would you like to see for this game or from other games as well if you would like to see me play some other games let me know down in the comments below or if you just want to stick to track the air content let me know please subscribe to the channel it helps a lot we are trying to reach well i'm trying to reach thousand subs and at 500 subs we're gonna be having a cool giveaway to all the subscribers we're gonna be giving away a free copy of the game to one of you guys so please subscribe to the channel leave a comment tell me what you like what you didn't like about this video leave a like don't like whatever it's all good for me i hope you had a good day this is all and i will catch you in the next one Peace.